Welcome to Informatica University Success Academy. Creating and deploying a data flow in edge data streaming. Informatica Edge Data Streaming EDS is a highly available, distributed, scalable, and real-time application that collects and aggregates machine data. You can collect machine data from different types of sources, transform or process the data, and write it to different types of targets. You can create data flows in EDS to perform these tasks. Once deployed, you can see the expected results in the target. In this video, you will see how to create and deploy data flows in ADS. Log into Informatica Administrator. Let's begin by creating a data flow. Navigate to the Services and Nodes page. You can see the list of all the services. Select the ADS service and click the Edge Data Streaming tab. You are now in the ADS page where you can create data flows. Under Data Flows, right-click All Data Flows and select New Data Flow. Give the data flow a name and a description for better clarity. The data flow is now created. You can now add the source and target entities. First, let's add a file entity as a source. Scroll down to the Sources section. Drag and drop the Source Entity file onto the workspace. This is a text file that contains data about regions. So, let's call this entity as Region Source. Provide the location of the file and also the file name. You can see that the source is created in the workspace. Now, let's add a target entity. Data records are stored in categories known as topics. You will use a target topic for this data flow. From the target section, drag and drop Kafka onto the workspace. Provide all the details in the target window. The target is created in the workspace. You need an EDS node to run different entity types and to transfer and process data. So, let's first create a node group and then assign nodes to the source and target entities that we just created. Navigate to the Node Group Management tab in the EDS page. Let's create a new node group. Enter the group name as server. Select Server Node Group and click Add Node. Enter the node name as Node 1. Save the node group. The node is now ready to be assigned to the source and target entities. You must map the source service and target service to the EDS nodes on which they must run. Click the Data Flow Design tab. Select the Region Source File Source and click Node Groups. Now click the Create Relationship icon. Select the Server Node Group and click Apply. Save this. You can now see that Node 1 is displayed for the source entity. We will follow the same steps and assign the node to the target entity. The next important step is to establish a data connection. There are two types of data connections that you can use, ultra messaging and WebSocket. If you choose the ultra messaging data connection, EDS uses the publish subscribe model to transport data. If you choose the WebSocket data connection, EDS uses the WebSocket protocol which provides bi-directional communication over a single TCP connection. To establish a data connection, Drag a line from the source to the target. 
Select Ultra Messaging. Give it a name. Click OK. Select the newly created Ultra Messaging connection and click OK. The messaging connection between the source and target is created successfully. The data flow is now ready for deployment. Deploying a data flow is just a one-click task. Click this Deploy icon to deploy the newly created data flow. After deploying, you can see a pop-up message stating that the data flow is deployed. You can undeploy and redeploy data flows at any time. This concludes the video.